What's up guys, Ray Plutonian Confessions here, and it being the 18th of May 2018, it's a uh, synchronistic mundane astrology discussion day. Okay, so 38 years ago, May 18th, 1980, we had some volcanic activity going on with Mount St. Helens in the Pacific Northwest. It is now synchronistically transpiring yet again. So, we're going to decipher and do an analysis of the actual aspects of play with Mount St. Helens as well as with Kilauea, which is now ongoing, and by the sounds of it, from what the spirits have told me, is going to have several eruptions just as Mount St. Helens did. And we are overdue for some activity within the Ring of Fire, which the Ring of Fire is the platelet that goes around, like uh, Australia, Papua New Guinea, Sumatra. Uh, Japan, obviously back in 2011, during the, the infamous Uranus-Pluto square time frame. We also did have substantial earthquakes involved. Earthquakes do correlate with volcanic activity, so there's that. And uh, I don't know all the specifics per se, because I'm kind of under a rock most days. Just because of my whole, you know, resentment for news and the Saturn-Neptune square thing. So Matthew's more of my actual... Uh, reference when it comes to current events. I'm just great with the historical event. So environmental Mount St. Helens, a long dormant volcano in Washington erupts several times killing at least 26 people and devastating the countryside as far as 120 miles away. Earthquake for all those people out there that actually maybe get to see this visual because I have the video up here. There's the picture of Mount St. Helens erupting as well, and yeah, that's a very impressive photo. Granted, it was in the 80s, so for anybody who's, you know, technology savvy, the photo may not seem that substantially great to them. So Mount St. Helens. The reawakening came from the terrible suddenness in the spring of 1980 after a series of uh, premon uh, premonitory shakes and puffs, Mount St. Helens erupted with an incredible violence on the morning of May 18th, killing 60 people and turning an area of 232 square miles into a tortured gray landscape. Volcanologists have calculated the force of this explosion as one of the largest in the United States in the last two centuries. The energy released was the equivalent that uh, was the equivalent to that of 500 Hiroshima type atomic bombs or 10 million tons of TNT. The eruption of Mount St. Helens came as an abrupt and stunning reminder of furnaces that lie beneath the entire Cascade Range from from the, the mountains in the north to the Lassen Peak in California Indeed, except for geologists, scarce, scarcely anyone in the Northwest has more than dimly aware of the Cascades' volcanic history, which was both rich and recent. The Cascades are, in fact, a highly volatile stretch of, ring of, of the Ring of Fire that encircles the Pacific Ocean, and there has been, on average, at least one major volcanic eruption every century since the end of the since the end of the, the last age, roughly 10,000 years ago. In geologic context, the Cascades are in extremely young mountain range, having uplifted only about 7 million years ago atop, atop the subduction zone, where the Juan de Foca pla plate is being driven, ponderously and irresistibly underneath a highly riding North American plate, Beginning about 3 million years ago, magma began rising through to the surface to build the modern Cascades. But by the mid-1960s, the lordly volcanoes of the Cascades were known to be publicly, public chiefly a scenic landmark and havens of recreation to the geologists as formations whose violent origins and dangerous nature 
deserved further study if and when priorities permitted. The clues that sometimes dramatically could happen at any time were present at the every every hand, but they were not fully understood. The majestic 14,410 foot silhouette of Mount Rainier, 50 miles north of Mount St. Helens, was flawed by ominous signs, its fumed in steam and heat within its massive bulk, created spooky caves in the ice and sometimes melted through the gigantic glacier fields. The slope of its crags in Mount Hood, 60 miles south of St. Helens, were dotted with with steaming sulfur uh, and pervaded in wide areas. Mm -hmm. So as I mentioned, the Ring of Fire already. And I think we have Matthew trying to call. So Pluto is responsible for volcanic activity. Uh, since Taurus seasons the polarity of Scorpio season, which rules over Pluto, it's primarily going to be a fatalistic volcanic activity in in um, Taurus season, which is May, early May. So, May, you said May 10th for that one, and that was that was Kilauea. Oh wow! Well, yeah, just as I was reading in this book, it, all volcanologists say that um, it's fatal to live in Hawaii anytime. They they say that it's great for research, but they would never stay. And it, it yeah, even one of the volcanologists like that founded the actual observatory in 1912 in Hawaii said that he um would wake up there every day understanding that it could be his last day just for physically being there. <laughs> Yeah, what's fascinating too is I was reading some of the actual um, like lingo in this book, and it and it quoted exactly everything that all the spirit sessions were talking about, like word for word. They were paraphrasing things out of the book. So uh, I I concluded that there's going to be several eruptions. How many eruptions has there been so far? Do we know? Do we have a count? Right. Okay. Um, I was looking at that, and actually, as a matter of fact, Pluto takes 21 years to go through a cycle, and that obviously is correlated with this. So we have a Pluto cycle that's gone through, and then we've had two Neptune cycles as well. And I've concluded that uh, Neptune sextile to Pluto is actually part of why it exploded. It, it exploded right on the day that Uranus went into Taurus, so I found that fascinating. Um... That would signify that there's going to be substantial volcanic eruptions, definitely earthquakes and everything, but Uranus and Taurus will definitely signify that there's going to be more massive volcano eruptions. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory has reported a new fissure 21 down rift of uh, Mamake Street in the Lilani Estate. Several fissures have reactivated HVO lava is a uh, Paslaho <laughs> and I have no idea what that word is. P A H O E H O E. I no, I, I'm just laughing at you because I was sitting there trying to pronounce stuff too in the video before froze. I called you, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's also some good news. Huh. With this, and that is, it's only thirty thousand feet, which could mean this isn't the big one. We could be close to the big one. Right. But the big one might not come this year. Um. Kilauea, first off, is a shield volcano. People need to get the like Mount St. Helens had a top. Right. Kilauea doesn't have a top. It's a right. shield volcano. I don't know what they call Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens had a rocky top, and, and this one doesn't. So there's going to be no uh, none of that movie like top blowing. So anybody who's comparing this to Mount St. Helens is actually full of crap. Right. Um. It's slow but destructive. So, you know, obviously the good news is the media is probably overhyping this a little bit. I mean, don't they always, though? Yeah, they do. Um, but with it being so low, the, the ash spewing right now only being 30,000 feet. Mm-hmm. Um, that could be some good news. It could just be pressure release and not 
in action. Now, there could be a steam explosion now. Right. But this could just be pressure release. Now, that's not to say that, you know, we're back in January and it's a steam explosion. Right. So. Right. Well, also think of, too, um, I mean, take this with a grain of salt, but with the whole two-year um, heads-up thing that, I, that I've done, I started freaking out the Yellowstone was going to blow. Like, I, I determined it was going to blow in October, which the polarity time is now. But I started freaking out about it in July. June and July. Yeah. So, um, I have a feeling that there's just, there there has to be more activity going on, especially with how many um, how many different uh, earthquakes and stuff there's been along the Ring of Fire. The like I just don't I don't know if for sure there's going to be any other volcanoes that will potentially erupt. Yeah, you know, with, within this year, but I definitely wouldn't say that this is going to be the last of the activity in Hawaii. So, I'm not entirely sure what else. You know, another thing, too, when they mentioned a few weeks ago that there's going to be some sort of rare but slow, you know, um, I guess phenomenon going on, it might just be that this just continues to spew out, and again, the death signatures will come from long-term exposure to the sulfur dioxide. So, Kilauea... And Lore, Puna is the name of the town, right? Or is that the actual, like, island? I think that might be actually the area, Lower Lower Puna. Yeah. Thursday night and a Friday yeah, morning. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Um, no, you're fine. Thursday night and a Friday morning. Okay. So, um, when it said Thursday night and a Friday morning, when did the actual, like, spewing eruption start? Uh, 4 a.m., Okay. Uh, local time. Okay. So 6 a.m. Like I said, 6 a.m. your time. Yeah, I said it, I said it for Hawaii. I said it for Hawaii. So the chart for the actual eruption moment was Uranus was almost right directly on the ascendant. So in the now houses, we have Mercury conjunct with Uranus. And then in the fourth house, we have the North Node and Ceres there as well. So... Basically, what's um, we also have Jupiter in the seventh house, and then we have a trauma signature with Mars in the tenth house. So, what this actual eruption indicates is that it's supposed to be a warning for people to get out of the area before it completely annihilates the island. So, what this what this shows here is that in the future houses, there's oh we have an entity present. Hi, Mimi. So, what the future um, houses represent is that there's going to be an entire annihilation of the Hawaiian Islands. Scratch. Okay. So, um... Curon is in the 12th house at this moment with Juno as well, meaning that they don't realize that this is actually a gift from from the the gods favorable to, to some of the innocent people there, because they're actually giving them a warning that they need to remove themselves entirely. And are you talking about this, or are you talking about something else? Because, I mean, I'm just going to, like, give the, give the speaker back to Matt if you're not going <laughs> to... <laughs> Can we please talk about the volcanic things? I know I know you guys are not that great about staying on topic just as much as I am, but come on. I'm trying really hard here. He just left. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks anyway. Jeez. That's what I want to Okay, so I'll keep on going. So, um, let's see. The past houses for this... Uh indicate that that they already are well aware of this danger but a lot of them are maybe might be stuck financially there and or it's just because it's yeah. their home or whatever but they 
Yeah, so it'll be the natives that'll end up staying there permanently. I mean, honestly, like, I think everybody should get out, but... Um, no, I totally agree with you at that point. Yeah. Um, yeah, and in the past houses, basically, it, we have a, a stellum of Capricorn there, insinuating that... It's okay. It, well, it, it's uh, Pluto and Black Moon Lilith and the Midhaven and Saturn all in the past house, the ninth house, meaning that the that uh, this was never supposed to be an inhabited, like a permanent inhabited area, and mm -hmm. they're all going to learn the hard way that it wasn't. So, but I would I would say that oh wow we have another entity here. I would say that um pretty much none of this is going to be in uh, habitable before Uranus and Taurus is over in the next six, seven, eight years. Um, if they're not all dead from chemical pneumonia or, you know, having, like, really hardcore respiratory issues in general, they'll all be dead from more massive eruptions in the future. Hi! Who's here? Do you want to talk about the volcano stuff? Compound. Okay. So you're talking about, you're talking about the, the the dioxide and stuff. It's going to be the killer, right? Wait, what? Did you get the word compound too? Yeah. Why? Where did you get that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, I sorry, I couldn't hear you. I I have him K in my ear. K popped up and I only got two words out of what he said. I couldn't get the third word. Possessed and compound. Wow. Yeah, I got compound launch. So I think it also think said convoy. So I think they're I think they're referencing um, the uh, National Guard being there. Possibly. So how you and I were kind of saying that it'll be a lot of the people that are trying to help evacuate people that will be the ones that'll be sick. Yeah. That would coincide with the stupid workers from yesterday. <laughs> Not saying they're stupid, but you know, I'm trying to figure out an exact time for Mount St. Helens too. Like it just said in the morning of. Well, I don't think anybody actually knew. Yeah. Like specific time. Yeah. But I remember something about eight o'clock or something. That's what I put in there too. Eight a.m. That sounds about right. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I may actually know the time. Okay. All right, it says here 5.30, and then it went on for nine hours. Wow, really? So we got to count back for 4.30, 3.30, 2.30, 1.30, 12.30, 11.30, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30
I'm writing them all down too. Good. I got I got that when you said I need to start a new page. I we got quiet waiting for you to say something else, but apparently you don't want to say nothing. Silent, Silent sound. sign. Yes. Silent sign. I've heard sound. that. Silent sound. Oh my god, that's what they said last year. Silent sign. That was at ninety four percent. Wow. Sound. Silent sound. Yeah. Silent sound. Silent sign. Silent sound. I wonder why. Silent. Oh my god. Silent. Silent sound. Silent sign. Are you making an astrological reference, girly? Soldiers. Soldiers. And that was pretty accurate too. Silent sound soldiers. Yeah, there's soldiers out in Hawaii right now. Minimum. Minimum. A minimum of them. Oh, I have mine scanning now. Uh oh. I'm gonna laugh. At I don't it. like what. The, what? I, for the people of Hawaii, I don't like where this is going. But I can already, I can kind of already see the road. Yeah, it's exactly what I'm saying, isn't it? This this might be a shit hits the fan situation. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> that's what the chart says. Minimum soldier silent sound. Oh, I have an entity now. Are they just oh. pl playing hopscotch? Hi. They could just be playing hopscotch. They realize we both have our thing on. <laughs> <laughs> Until what? Until what? What was the last word you got? The last word I got? Mm -hmm. Reporting. Reporting until... Until what? Wow, all the lights in my house just went off for a second. Okay. Do you have any, uh, any suggestions or advice for all the people in Hawaii? <laughs> but... Yeah, go on. I, he was talking. I'm not saying. No, what did he say? He said move. Bang. Bang. Are you watching Ooh. that video still? Yeah, I got the Kilauea lava flow up. So when is the bang going to happen? <laughs> place. <laughs> Thank you for telling me a place. Superior. Superior. Cruelty. Yeah, I know you could have heard that. Yeah, I heard that one. I don't know if that means that there was... Soft. Comply? Yep. Superior, comply. Oh, the he's cruel boss. He's talking about um people refusing to evacuate. He's Yeah, complies. Yeah, he's talking superior. he's talking about people who are locally there who say that they deal with this all the time. Comply customer. Well, taxpayers are customers. I would hope that all the tourists leave. I think so. Because they can't even, you know, they can't even fly. Well, well, hold on, though. Unless they get on the other side of the island, they can't fly out. Oh, shit. They're trapped because that entire, the entire southern part of the island is, is, is a red zone. I'm looking. Where you want me to? Where do you want me to look? Tell me. Tell me what you wanted me to look at, or point me in the right direction. Oh, there's people talking in the chat. Yeah, but I I I don't pay attention to that because ninety percent of that is just a bunch of idiots. Somebody said it's the way the tubes run because the plate is always moving east, 
So everything that used to be radical, uh, radial to the hot spot storage. becomes sideways to it. Oh, what, what? Wait, 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 watch. I, I, there's commenters in this. It says, we're coming home on 132 and found a group of people on the side of the road watching, probably a couple miles away from the roadblock that leads to these eruptions. We could see the lava fountain, fountain tops. The cop, the cops came and we all scattered. Idiots. That's what they wanted us to look at. Oh. I told you the chat. So exactly what what this person's talking about is exactly what I said is going to happen to everybody. She's they're going over and staring at it like it's freaking nothing. And it's a provocation. Lady. Provocation. Provocation page. Resist. Holy cow. It sounds like my brother. I'm seeing the live video you sent me now. Wow. Yeah, I know. They've backed up the camera a little bit, too. Yeah, somebody says, why you guys don't leave? And then somebody says... We don't mind if people don't want to move or visit here. We live on the land. God damn it. Go back up. There. We live on the land there. You wouldn't want to move either. We want to live on the land in peace. Enough commercialized Hawaii. Somebody says, when you live on this island for a while, the lava teaches you things. You know, that you're safe distance so they can be relaxed. Yeah, the lava does teach you things, like, get the fuck away. <laughs> the lava does teach you things like trial. There, trial. Oh, so you're, yeah, so you're just re you're just reinforcing what I was talking about, that this is just a preliminary, this is just like a, um, a prequel to what what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. It's 1918 all over again, because I don't think the major eruption was until 1919 or late in 1918. 1918. Wow, yeah. Well, yeah, So, see, we're going to be back in December talking about this. Wooden. Trial wooden. Woods, trees. Well, there is a lot of that around there. There's somebody in this chat that says my psychic powers are useless. <laughs> stay. Wouldn't stay. Trial wouldn't stay. What was the whole list you got from them? That you had written down? I have three pages. <laughs> Shit, man. Three fucking pages. Okay, this is... I'm going in order how I got it. Okay? Okay. All right, possessed, compound, beautiful, cleansed, my heart, but that's got a question mark beside it, mm -hmm. plant, do not, male, cocaine has a question mark beside it, <laughs> blinded, seasoned with a question mark, and that was before, and then this is all after it calibrated, so I know for a fact that's what they said. Um, breathe, silent sound, soldiers reporting, superior, cruelty, let me know if I'm going too fast. No, go ahead, go ahead. Soft, comply, customer, uh, conscience, look, storage, citizen, oven, please. Provocation, page, message, plain, install, painkiller, reward, involvement, silver, Susan, shot, crime, bubble, and bridges. Hmm, okay. Trial wouldn't stay. Resist their trial, I wouldn't like stay. Study. The spirits say to get the fuck out. <laughs> Halamea's not happy. 